We started using the Gicle process about 20 years ago when they really started developing it. Prior to that, we did lithographs, we did serographs, but the serograph process or serography wasn't a great representation of the image because each color is a separate plate and it wasn't getting all the nuances of my detail that I would have in the originals. So the uh, Gicle process was the perfect match for my imagery. Once we get in all the what are called artist proofs, which would be like a like a long roll of samples, one after another. So there might be a dozen of them in a row and they're slightly different uh, setting, you know, in the, from the printer itself. What I do is I cut the actual print samples into separate pieces so that I can have a stack of them all. And sometimes I'll lay them right on top of the actual original painting and I try to see what's the best, you know, reproduction of the actual original painting. There's a number on every print and once I select the one that's closest to the original, I call the printer and I said, okay, number eight's the one I want to go by. So he's got, he's got it, that in his computer. He pulls up number eight and he, he'll print them from that different color selection. The final step of the entire process would be my signature in the lower right-hand corner. That's kind of my seal of approval. 